Hey everybody, Mark Machetti here representing the agency, the copywriting agency, predictably profitable maybe. I'm here with Sean Morrow, Mike Henderson, two Top Gun senior copywriters who know how to get stuff done. Now, today we're gonna talk about supplements. We've done a ton in direct response in the supplement space uh, from uh, digestive gut-based products to anti-aging to uh, B complex to uh, uh, turmeric, uh, curcumin, uh, coffee supplements, um, uh, probiotics, uh, different uh, multivitamin formulations that are specifically positioned for very specific audiences. That's what we do. And we have the numbers to back it up. In just this last year alone, we've built up a $10 million company with our copy with our ingenuity with our ability to see what people really want from supplementation so that's what we're going to talk about now excuse me a lot of copywriters are nervous uh guys uh, am i right about backing up their copy yeah I'll, I'll sell you that i can write copy but can you back it up if your copy doesn't perform at that top level can you adjust and when we are scalable, can you help us exponentially scale? That's the question that a lot of supplement entrepreneurs want to know. What do you think about that? Yeah, so I think a lot of copywriters are um, what I'd call kind of one and done people. They think they're going to get the assignment, write the copy, do a good, good job and move on, um, which can work. But a lot of the time, you know, especially these days, it's hard to really hit a winner out the gate. Um, so if you don't get those results straight away, then we're finding a lot of copywriters leaving entrepreneurs in the lurch with campaigns that aren't quite performing as they should do, um, which is a problem. And so there's a big difference between investing and gambling. When you are investing in copywriters who are one and doneers who can't adjust based on data to revise, to rewrite, to reposition, to do whatever it takes to get copy to convert, to make it relevant, to make it scalable, that is gambling. When you have people who understand the supplement space deeply, understand what the audience wants, we're talking 40, 50 plusers usually, who are deficient in all kinds of things, you know, collagen, you know, let's, let's be having relevant conversations in that way. And, and Mike, no offense, it's not necessarily hard to convert right out of the gate, but it takes a lot of collaboration and we always can do only one thing, put our best foot forward. And when we do that, we want to make sure that we win. So we take that prototype, we run it on the track, and we find out what needs to be adjusted so that it's performing like a freaking yep. Lamborghini, whatever. Even, if it works first time, there's always a way you can improve that, right? So it's never done. You know, there's always more you can do to better it. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. And, and that's you know, a direct response, but it's also getting into somewhat brand advertising where your brand becomes synonymous with what you can solve or satisfy, right? That's also what we want to do to make your supplement. When somebody thinks about, oh, I got a stomach ache, they think about your supplement. Oh, my brain fog. I can't sleep. They think about your supplement. So over 100 million in sales. Uh, uh, for me in my career, I have done over 100 million in sales. We collectively have done millions of sales and we bring to the table not just that track record, but when you work with a lot of different supplement companies, you have the ability to see all kinds of data. And we take that data and then we've allowed it to uh, give us kind of a, a psychic power to see into the future about compliance, about where markets are going, about what messaging people are responding to and also innovating not just looking at what's working but innovating creating newness if sorry about that uh, noise so uh we talked about in the last year with the silver company uh a, a funny uh not funny uh just yesterday guys i talked with doug godkin so doug godkin is the owner of the supplement company that company was actually shut down after the doctor uh uh, Mr. Dr. Gordon Pedersen, great man, amazing individual, uh, a wealth of information. He made a comment on an interview that got the company shut down by the FDA. Just yesterday, the company got back uh, live 
And so now we're able to start rebuilding. But, you know, one of the things about the supplement space that's so critical and why it wasn't our copy that got the, cop that got the company brought, that, that, that triggered the FDA, it was the doctor's comments on an interview, compliance is a huge deal because if you aren't compliant, you may not be allowed to scale or your campaigns can be shut down without a moment's notice. And so that's something that we always have to make sure that we're doing. I know it's not the sexiest of conversation guys but i mean come on yeah. if you're not compliant what are you really building right that's it yeah it's going back to what mike said too you know about these hotshot copywriters that are that are one and done supplement companies that don't follow compliance are doing the same thing you know a lot of the time they're looking for the short-term sale they're not thinking long term and that really limits your exposure long term with your overall campaign it's not really a good place you want to be right nope and, and, and when we talk about the amount of money, you know, we're talking full funnels as well, you know, not just mm. one end sales letters or VSLs or webinars. Exactly. Exactly. You know, one, two, and three performing like crazy so that we have low CPAs and high AOVs, high cart values. That's what we're always in the business of creating so that you can put as much money in as you can possibly fathom to get so much money out predictably. Mm -hmm. That's why I like mm -hmm. the name predictably profitable guys. Um, here is an example. I worked with the company Perfect Origins. You guys familiar with that company, Dr. Charles Livingston? Heard the name. Yeah, back in, familiar, the day, no? back in the day, on, the name. back in the day on ClickBank, uh, he had, uh, God, what was it? The something factor. It, it was a weight loss product. Uh, he was number one on ClickBank for uh, a few years. Uh, he and Brad Callen, and then Brad Callen brought me into the company and we did multiple six and seven figure uh, campaigns. Uh, this one right here, Perfect Blush, this is actually a, a, a video. Uh, Leaky gut syndrome has on your... Uh, this video was live and producing profitability for uh, about almost 10 years. Uh, and this doodle was actually made by Dace Mikowski, which is our video guy. So not only does he do great cinematic and commercial direct response video, but you know, these doodle videos, these whiteboard videos, you know, back in the day, they made lots of money for us and they, they can always come back. Uh, so that's just another example of, uh, I mean, taking a, a, a product, a, just a basic kind of commodity supplement that has, it's a formulation, but the, there's nothing necessarily heroic about any one of the ingredients and yet together as a proprietary supplement 10 natural substances it it it, it uh killed it mm. it killed it and you know one of the stories that i use in this was elvis presley you guys familiar with elvis presley's uh, fecal matter situation when he died not yeah. intimately but yeah <laughs> he had 50 pounds of poop how much 50 pounds of poop wow. in his body impacted they call it fecal impaction and i mean that's how much the human body can store you know it's like oh my goodness so there's obviously so much that we can do with messaging with positioning with mechanism mechanism is how and why it works for me which is an absolute critical piece in the supplement space so Mom, yeah are there things that you put in that campaign that you can get away with now just quickly compliance wise Say, so, um, yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons why it's not around anymore because it, it wasn't as compliant. Now, had they reached out to me about making it compliant, it's something that we could have easily done, or, uh, easily beaten it. Um, so one of the things that we do with companies, because what does it mean to be an investment rather than a gamble? Well, we work with your media team, or if you are buying your own traffic, if you're your own media buyer, we work with you. We want to see the exact numbers and we want to see the numbers across every metric from ads to time on page to engagement to obviously conversions, uh, checkout pages, cart pages, cart, cart, uh, you know, those need to be at 30 plus percent conversions. In other words, only 70% of the people who go from your sales letter, for instance, to your checkout page should bounce. 30% should absolutely follow through. And those are the types of numbers that we have to have. So mm -hmm. this is just an image of our constant ongoing communication, collaboration, because as Mike said, it never ends. Once you get traffic, you want to build. 
right? So it's not just getting conversions. Getting conversions is just the first step. So I was in this business since I was a little boy. Uh, my grandfather, Anthony Pachetti, I talk about this quite a bit with you guys. He invented the time release method. Uh, and then we had a supplement company called Nutrihomo, Nutritional, Nutritional Homeo Sapien. So he also helped pioneer in cold processing, bioavailability, so that supplements actually work. One of his um, famous quotes, 99% of supplements are like a dead body on the floor. What the F are they going to do for you, right? And so he focused on bioavailability, on, effective, uh, 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 on a supplement actually being effective. If you're deficient in something, this can help replete it. And he also was really keen on defining the word supplement. A supplement is not meant to heal or cure anything. It's only meant to supplement an already ideal, healthy diet and lifestyle. And that's very different than how a lot of copywriters have, you know, push supplementation. At the end of the day, if your body needs something to help it work that you can't get from your diet, like, you know, D3, uh, then, you know, supplement it. You know, how many people around the world are deficient in D3? How many people around the world are deficient in magnesium, the spark that creates ATP or energy in the body? And when you replete those things simply and effectively, we feel different. We feel better, we feel younger, we feel energized, we can sleep, we wake up feeling refreshed. That's just what it takes to supplement what our body is deficient in so that we can perform at a high, high level, like what we really expect out of ourselves. And that's something that was his consciousness, his philosophy. And as a copywriter and as a copywriting team, we bring that into the 2020 reality of direct response marketing. And that's a part of compliance. It's also a part of character and integrity because you don't have to make absurd claims in order to convert. That is just not true. And you will be limited in how much money you're ultimately able to be, uh, to be allowed to make. Again, because if you're non-compliant, you're risk, at risk to be shut down. Right guys? Mm -hmm. Yep. So right now, I call this the era of effective formulations because uh, working with a lot of supplement companies over the last 15 years, commodities, you know, like, uh, you know, there's some commodities that do really well, like a commodity would be like B3, niacinamide riboside, right? Uh, Niagen, they sell the, they sell, it, it sells like hotcakes and it's just B3, a non-flush B3. But when you're deficient in it, your energy metabolism falls apart. Your mitochondrial factory shut down. Your cells can become mutated and even senescent, you know, where, the, where you don't go through apoptosis and the unhealthy cells take themselves out of circulation to repair or die, right? And then those cells replicate and then, you know, we have more sick cells than healthy cells, right? So that is a conversation that B3 is relevant for and so some commodities are really amazing, but we're in the era of formulations. For instance, formulating immune now, you know, we made it a three tiered system in one supplement so that we could enter the conversation and make claims that were in integrity and true because we know how to help people better. So when you're in the business of creating formulations, we love to be involved in that conversation because it is an opportunity to future pace the actual campaign. We get to dictate our positioning. We get to dictate the hero ingredient and the, the, the meat and potatoes of the conversation, right? So, you know, what do you guys think about that? Do you, do you, do you see more combinations? Do you see single supplements like vitamin C? You know, I call those commodities. So what, what do you guys perceive the supplement space is at right now? Yeah, I see, I see a lot of formulations for sure. I think there's a whole lot of new formulations coming to market. And I think those that are the most creative around the solutions that they actually bring through integrity are the ones that are top of the food chain, you know, personally. Sean, you talk about the repositioning switch. This is the position mm. game. Yeah. You have to actually choose the positioning you enter with. And Absolutely. A lot of, you know, uh, young marketers or young copywriters may not understand the, the power of that. You get to dictate where you enter the conversation and how you get people to identify and raise their hands. Exactly. So, 
Exactly. These, these kind of like newer copywriters to the game are kind of focused on the bigger hooks, the bigger grandiose kind of claims, when in reality it is the positioning that makes it all work so well, which is kind of where that's our focal point around everything we do. So, so Mike, how do we convert in supplements? Well, I mean, it's, first of all, it's very important that we have a quality product that we believe in. So basically the previous slide, you know, it's like um, I was going to add to that, that it's so much easier when you're involved at the outset to come up with something that you all believe in. And that really comes across in your copy. You know, how do you get someone to believe in something when you don't believe in it yourself? Um, so the formulation is very important. Um, more than that, having a message that people can identify with, you know, like um, we talk about stories, telling stories, having a system that people can mirror with, identify with and say, yeah, you know, I can buy into what you're saying and now I feel more comfortable with this whole message. Um, and, and a big part of that is having the right expert in place, you know, the right face and voice to deliver that message so it's someone I can trust and say, yeah, okay, I'm with this person, I feel confident with them. Um, that authority really um, makes me feel okay with this whole offer. Um, so that, that all needs to be there. And of course, as we've touched on already, um, testing constantly, looking at the data, if there's something that's not working, um, identifying those leak, uh, weak links in the chain and ironing them out and, and improving as we go. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, and you know, we do that with three pillars, uh, mechanism, new cause and positioning. So mechanism is how and why it works for me. So just a quick, for instance, let's say uh, we want to uh, uh, create a satiety product, right? So help people feel fuller faster. Um, let's say we have lion's mane as the hero ingredient and, you know, um, uh, satiety ingredients to help support it like cinnamon, right? So lion's mane, what's the mechanism and why does it help with satiety? Well, did you know it takes about 20 minutes for leptin to reach your brain? Leptin, your fullness hormone. How much food can you eat in 20 minutes? What if we can speed up how quickly leptin goes from your second brain to your first brain? Lion's mane has a two-pronged mechanism. First, it stimulates new nerve growth inside of the gut. And that new nerve growth then stimulates the vagus nerve, the nerve that goes from the second brain to the first brain. It's that line of communication where leptin travels. So by stimulating it, we're, it's, it, 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 it diminishes, it helps manage inflammation in the vagus nerve and allows for communication to go seamlessly faster. So leptin can reach the brain faster. So if we eat a little bit slower, we give people an awake eating exercise so that we take small bites of food, we chew, 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 we swallow, we wait a minute before the next bite. We give leptin time while we allow the supplementation of lion's mane and cinnamon to help leptin reach the brain faster so that you can eat a quarter of the food that you would normally eat, not even telling you what to eat, feel fuller with a fraction of the food. Right, so we're using mechanism to, you know, not just sell lion pain, but we're it, but we're integrated with cinnamon, and we're giving you a system, a way to eat, uh, exercise on how to eat. Nobody's taught how to eat, mm -hmm. right? So you know, th there's an example, new cause. This is so critical because most people have tried pretty much everything under the sun, so they need a new reason to believe. And they need to be let off the hook without saying the cliche, it's not your fault. Mm. But it isn't your fault because most supplements don't work. And now that you understand why those supplements didn't work, this new supplement can, I can suspend my disbelief and be like, yeah, I think I'll try that. That mm. makes sense. Backed by mechanism and why it works for me, I have a new reason to believe and I can see exactly why it could work for me. My objections have just lowered. I'm a customer. Positioning again, we just covered that. What's the what the, the Sean? What's the uh, eighty twenty rule in copywriting? Yeah, well, the way we look, like to look at it is, it's like a chef in a kitchen. You know, they can't really cook a real gourmet me a meal unless they've got all the ingredients there. Copywriting is not much different, right? Where you kind of have to gather what is the conversation we're having, what is the mechanism, what is the new cause, what is the positioning we want to test here, going right out the gate. And so 80% really is just about gathering that ingredients from the client, from who we're working with, who we're partnering up with. And the 20% then is obviously just putting that into words, right? Um, that that the spot covers it. It's expanding the mm -hmm. creative capacity so that we are equals in the conversation to exactly. the very top experts, right? 
that's how Absolutely. much we know so that we have a wealth of information of ingredients of creative capacity to come through us and connect you know one of the another reason why we're predictably profitable is we don't just send you off let's say for instance with a sales letter no we're going to write five different leads to test against that way we get mm -hmm. way more data and we know how to pivot or uh scale faster and that's a part of the 80 20 rule you know when we commit to that 80 percent we can analyze without feeling oh no that didn't work we can analyze and adjust quickly and know what will work and and that's what this is about and that's why the 80 percent of you know interviewing people and understanding the market and our, our proprietary research process and the way that we strategically element and, and and organize our copy so that we know what we're doing and why it is supposed to be effective in the piece right so all yeah. of that is ridiculous. and that's also just going to have one more on that it's so the reason why these kind of one-off hotshot copywriters, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's a constant flow of optimization and iterating, right? That constant going back to that conversation and testing new angles. So, um, yeah, that's key. Absolutely. And, you know, we can sell your supplement without, you know, doing a, a, a huge long form piece. This piece right here also uh, created by Dace uh, was... Uh, it, 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 it did, God, I don't even remember. It, it, it did in the high six figures, low seven figures. And it, uh, it's a 60 second commercial. It's taking all of the stuff from a, a long form 30 minute VSL and it's condensing it into 60 seconds, but just, it was just a little bit of copy and, and, and the cart was on the page. So there was just, it was just a one click sale, you know, it, it, there's so many ways to to convert and this is you know just an example of what we can bring to the table to help your supplement you know be a commercial success as well as a direct response success and uh i think that's important for a lot of people especially you know with youtube um you you want to have uh something that really stands out on youtube so that you can compete on that platform as well I think video especially is getting more and more important these days from, from what I can mm -hmm. see. You know, I don't know if that's because people's attention spans are shrinking or, or what, or a combination of things. What shrinking? We've already hit this one, uh, you guys, uh, the dif difference between gambling and uh, investing. And mm -hmm. we are here to be your partners. That's why we stay on with you until it converts. And, and yeah, we want that performance back end. So when we scale for you, it is a demonstration that we can help make you a lot more money and that we can make a lot more money together. We're big, uh, we're big thinkers. Uh, we think in the big picture, but we know how to break it down into small pieces so that we know what works, why it works, what doesn't work and why it doesn't work. It's that simple. Micro, <clears throat> macro, 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 and every mm -hmm. time. Uh, and the way we, we, we've, we've covered this as well, sorry for a little bit of repetition, but you know, we're constantly collaborating. We're constantly in touch. You know, it, when a lot of copywriters, when they give you the copy, it's like you, they're ghosts. You, you never hear from them again. But we work with your video production or if we're doing the video production, uh, we work with your sales uh, design team, uh, your media buying team, we're constantly, you know, before launch, there's strategy that needs to take place. And we need to all be on the same page with that strategy in order for the project to, to never go sideways. You know, we have to stay on top of that because we've all been involved with projects that go into what I call development hell, you know, like the Hollywood term. And development hell never feels good to anybody on either side of the fence for copywriter or business owner, for supplement owner. So. You know, we want to make sure that we're always on the same page. That's why we're meticulous with our communication, with our collaboration. We do everything in live docs. We hide nothing. Nothing is invisible to what we're delivering for you. And honestly, we always over deliver because we know what it takes to convert. And if you're not paying us for a certain piece, we usually include it anyway. That's just because we know what we're doing and we know what you need in order to work, in order to convert, even if you don't come to the table with that awareness and that's not putting anybody down it's just again we've been in this business for a long time we've worked with so many supplement companies so many entrepreneurs in a supplement space seeing so much data seeing so many millions change hands 
It's just we can bring that to the table and it's not to cock block anybody else's genius. It's to help everybody's genius, you know, soar. So that's our, uh, that's our process and a little bit about us. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy over here, Dace, uh, I've been working with him when I showed you the perfect flush. You know, I, I, I got introduced to him by Brad Callen and uh, he, he and I have done a lot together. That's why we brought him into the agency and he knows how to take direct response copy and make it a, a cinematic masterpiece that is so emotionally engaging and quite frankly entertaining. Mike, uh, uh, a little bit about yourself. Sean, yeah, we don't I mean, have a on um, I mean, I'm, I'm at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I like to wear a suit and tie, that's what you need to know. That's <laughs> I, I've been copywriting for 18 months now, but I come from a research background, so I'm big on like res uh, well, obviously research, but kind of like information, finding the most important parts of data in that whole universe for your offer, for your market, and uh, harnessing those elements, bringing them in, structuring them in a way which is going to predictably lead to great sales copy. Um, so I'm kind of on the back end, perhaps, of this, uh, what do we call ourselves, the uh, Three Musketeers or whatever. But, you know, um, I'm, I'm very much someone who spends a lot of time analyzing data, working on structures and formats for selling copy. Um, and, um, yeah, that plugs into the, the whole kind of um, agency exercise. Yeah. John, a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. I am. Um, I am just, I'm at the bottom here. If you can't see my photo, <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with psychology and sales. I've just always been super intrigued by what really makes someone buy, what makes someone want to make a decision and what drives people, what are the emotions behind that? And I've been doing copy for over two years now. I've been trained by some of the best in the game. Obviously Mark as well. We leverage this heuristic system on top of that. I've been mentored by other copywriters that have written for the likes of uh, Billy Mays and OxyClean. So I've, I've really gathered a really good dense uh, piece of knowledge around what it is that makes things convert and why. And um, it's just all a part of really my reason why, which is to help people and help build seven figure businesses. So, um, and, yeah. and that final piece is the us factor. When you mm. work with a team, you're, you're getting so much more value and obviously the ability to move faster, to have different perspectives to help mold and shape copy makes such a big difference. As Kevin Rogers says, nobody should write alone. And I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, it, it really does take a team to, to, to raise a supplement funnel. Uh, what's your responsibility in the creative process? Well, again, we've kind of covered that and that's just being present. That's being available. That's responding. That's collaborating. That's putting your full passion your full vision, your full authenticity, your full vulnerability into this. And, you know, why are you in this space? Uh, what's your background? Um, what was your vision? How do you want to help people? All that needs to come to the forefront. And then obviously just simple things like when we submit a doc, get back to us quickly so that we can keep the momentum going. Comment, challenge us. We love that. You're not going to hurt our feelings. There's a million ways to convert. and we don't want to get stuck in preference. We want to focus on what appeals, mm -hmm. but we're always here to collaborate, which what makes it such a strong team. And you're a part of that team. We're a part of that team. So our collective responsibility is just to show up, to be present and to put our full collaborative selves into it. So if that sounds awesome, get at us, copywritingagency.com questions at the copywriting agency.com. That's my personal Skype. You could reach out to me with any questions if you're on that platform and uh, anything else you want to add guys. No, we're on Facebook too. They look us up there. Oh yeah. yeah. Copywriting agency on Facebook and uh, also LinkedIn. So we have lots of presence. We're putting out lots of value and we would love to have a conversation with you. That's what this is about. This isn't about trying to, you know, exchange monies right now. This is about having a conversation and seeing if we have rapport, seeing if we, you know, make a good team. You know, you can feel it. It's like if you, if you, you meet somebody uh, uh, for a romantic relationship and you just immediately feel that chemistry. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of the same. So we got to, you know, go on a date, say, hey, talk about ourselves, talk about what we bring to the table and see if it gels. So, all right, guys, thank you so much.
so much. And uh, I definitely look forward to working with you guys, with whomever is attracted to reach out to us and make some big time profits. And there's nothing wrong with saying that because we're going to do it by helping people the most. The more people you help, the more money you make. We got our eye on the ball, right?